everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can still have your power saving mode turned on while still keeping your refresh rate at 120 Hertz. So you can see here that when you go inside of the power saving mode, the background network usage syncing and location checking will be limited and motion smoothness will be changed to standard. Now, again, that's pretty much all that states right here when you go inside of the details. And then when you go inside of the settings, you go to display, you can see that my motion smoothness is actually still in fact selected with adaptive, even though it is grayed out. The only option that I'm supposed to be able to choose here is this one that's lit up, which means you can get longer battery life with 60 hertz screen refresh rate. But honestly, there's a lot of applications that after you stop scrolling, the 120 hertz really kind of finishes. But as you're moving around, you're reading around, you want your phone to still be smooth, but still limit a bunch of things in the background to save you a lot of battery life. I mean, the big thing is that I can tell a huge difference between 60 hertz and 120 hertz especially when you are scrolling so when you go through settings when you read through uh, articles when you go through youtube when you read stuff you're going to see a huge difference now if you're wondering how i have the refresh rate shown on the very top i just unlock the developer options and then inside of developer options you can scroll down and then you can take a look at this option here which is show refresh rate so it shows the refresh rate for the current display so all we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can get all of this set up. So originally what we're going to do is we're going to go just right inside of the display. Now underneath the display, let's just keep it as this little adaptive. Uh, and then underneath power saving mode, we're just going to simply turn this thing off. Now, now that this thing is turned off, you go inside of the settings, you take a look at the display. You know, it could be switching between adaptive and standard. It really doesn't matter what it is. So how you're able to fully set this one up is make sure that the power saving mode is turned off. Then you want to go right back inside of this little setting right here of the motion smoothness and you want to select adaptive, but don't hit apply just yet. Now, once you have adaptive selected, you did not hit apply, then because you were already inside of your power savings, you know, power mode settings right here, you can simply just go back inside of here with the recent screen or recent applications. You turn this on and it is not turned on just yet. You can see that the 60 is not moving. It's still stuck on standard. So what you wanna do is move right back inside of your settings. And because adaptive is selected, even though grayed out, you can still hit on apply. And now you can see here that we are activated, good to go. Power saving mode is turned on. You can see it with the icon. You can see it powered on right here. And then when you take a look at the refresh rate on the very top, we're still at 120. When you take a look right here, it is uh, grayed out, but still selected. And that's really all you would have to do uh, to turn it into the 120. Now, again, this is adaptive. So it's switching between 60 and 120. Now, when it stays down at the 60, you know, it, it's going to be uh, saving you a little bit of battery life versus if it was 120. Uh, the screen is working a little bit less hard. So when you're playing games, it could stay on 120 or it'll switch between 60 and 120. But either way, here you go. Power saving mode. 120. Uh, I mean, that's really all that I needed to show in today's video. If you guys appreciated this video, uh, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.